You know, it's difficult for artists to get noticed and sell their art, even if that art is on a higher level than most. Well, one local artist has created an event to help with that process and allow artists from all over the state to come together and network. It's called the Carolina Artist Mixer, and I spoke with organizer Tasia Logomarcinio to get the details. There's Marvin Gaye. If he's asking what's going on, then Tasia can tell you, because it's happening right here tomorrow. Explain what this event is all about. So the Carolina Artist Mixer will be hosting artists from all over North Carolina, as long as um, poets, and musicians as well. Um, this mixer will include food. We'll be hosting some vendors like Sweet Turkey Barbecue, um, Bowl City Dogs, and Denise Southern Food. Is this, um, you, you came up with this, right? This is your baby. So what, where did this idea come from? Because you're an artist yourself. So yes. what were you thinking with this? Um, I realized that artists need a safe haven and a place to come and meet and collab. I feel like there's not that many opportunities out there for artists to come together like this and, you know, showcase and meet other people and do future collaborations and, yeah. I think it's interesting that you say, because I think of this as, oh, it's a way for their, them to get their art out, mm -hmm. but it's also a way for them to meet each other, right? Yeah. Because sometimes there's synergy there, right? Absolutely. You never know what kind of projects you can uh, create with other people that you meet. So. Now, you want this to be an annual event, but if you look ahead, I mean, let's go five to ten years, what do you hope this grows into? Um, I hope this can go internationally due to the fact that we have furniture market twice a year. I want to be able to bring in artists from all over so they can showcase and have, have the opportunity to meet people from everywhere. I mean, that can blow up. If you get international exposure, that's a big deal. Plus, Absolutely. local artists, you're right, not enough places for them to showcase mm -hmm. their stuff. Thank you for taking time out today. Thank you. It's a great thing. It is really cool what she's done in a, a way not only just for us, the general public can go in there and you can shop and buy the art that's on display, but it's a way for them all, to all the artists from all over the state to collaborate, get together. I wanted to show this one. I'm not sure which camera it looks like. Maybe this. Here we go. Three. Um, this was, this is just an example. And the reason wow. I showed this, this is actually the girl that cuts my hair. I didn't wow. know until just the other day that she's an artist. And she told me about this event. And I said, this is great. So it's an example of the type of stuff. And this is, by the way, that's just one style, right? There was there was one that I loved where it was cardboard. This lady gets cardboard from discarded boxes and then does charcoal drawings on them. Wow. She had one of Bob Marley, that Marvin Gaye at the beginning of the piece, that was one of hers. So it's all kinds of art. I love the venue that this is in. It was so beautiful, it seems so like peaceful and calm and there was a lot of artwork I feel like I would want to purchase. That's the Sabrina Tillman Art Gallery on, in downtown High Point. That's where the event is tomorrow, okay. but we'll give you that in our web story. It's crazy how talented some people are when it comes to artwork mm -hmm. and great for them. How how much they can charge for some of that mm -hmm. artwork. I mean, it's incredible the prices that you can see on some really good stuff. And just and learning about the different types of artwork, mm -hmm. how you talked about the cardboard and the charcoal, there's more than just paint. One of them was uh, three-dimensional like cartoon characters. Oh. So they did their own cartoon characters. One of them was like eating ramen noodles, a little <laughs> dog, as cute as it could be, but it was totally 3D and you can hang it up on the wall. It's really neat. And it's all local artists. All lo Well, all statewide, yes. Mm -hmm. Have you all ever done like the wine and design? Yes. I've never done that, but it's, it's, it's really impressive what just a normal person can uh -huh. do by doing something like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you ever done that? No. What's the wine? It's oh. like a paint sip? Yeah, well, it's a wine tasting, yeah. but you also paint, paint as you go. Oh, yeah, I've done those before. And you fun. have like a coach that's like that's walking right. you through yeah. how to paint. Yes. Yeah, I've done a couple of those that's before. Fun.